I have a, a little bit of different of story on my behalf this on this life. I was born um, in a very Southern Baptist church. It did not resonate with me at all. And I pretty much ignored religion, spirituality for my 20s through my 30s. And then in my 40s, um, around 2017, I hit emotionally rock bottom. And I was going through a divorce. And it was a... Uh, the most painful experience I ever had emotionally. I was angry, resentful. And it opened me up for the opportunity to change. I was very logical up to that point. I thought I had complete control of everything. Um, some friends at work suggested the Buddha's mind. I should read that book. So um, I had about an hour commute each way. I downloaded the book, listened to it. It didn't really resonate. It was dry. Someone else mentioned Sadhguru, <clears throat> Inner Engineering. So I downloaded that book, listened to it, and it resonated. Uh, the one thing that resonated the most during that time was, I am not the body, and I'm not the mind. And it made me ask myself, who am I? I listened to that book over a dozen times. And during that period, it was preparing me to go through the program. So 2018, I went through the engineering program, get a practice, whatever that practice is. Do it daily. If you don't have a practice, I'm chanting 21 times a day. Just do it. Have no expectation of it. Just do it. The second thing I would say is Get outside your comfort zone. That's where growth happens. Most people stay in their bubble, safe and secure. You limit your growth. You limit your experiences. We're here to do one thing, and that's experience. Everything. When I look back at things I went through that I considered bad, I look back now and I go, it's the best thing ever happened. Because it pushed me up. And if that never happened, I would not have the most amazing experience in the last five years that I've had. There is no good or bad. It's your perception in the moment of what you're experiencing. Thank you.